What's up everybody? For all you winter detailers out there and you're just so sad, you're lamenting the winter, you have too much pride to tell everybody how slow you are, but man, something happens psychologically in winter time. Even if you're amazing at your craft, you might be having some kind of issues with winter. I mean, you can just see I'm trying to make the most of this winter. Here we go, I'm gonna elbow drop in the snow. The elbow drop! <laughs> I can't move, dudes! I'm in the mountain! Oh no, I elbow dropped into the mountain, Max! What do you think, Penny? Is that silly? Out there playing with my kids in the snow, when I can. Trying to understand that we're so lucky to be alive and that something's going to go wrong on every every detail i could not get the bed of my truck open today any detail in the winter your bottles don't work they freeze and how about this it's not like i have anything in the bed of my truck that i want to grab so that's frozen it was frozen it's like i had to park uh 30 yards from the guy's house because the neighbor doesn't want me parking in their little hoa it's not an alley, but I don't know. She has plenty of room. I'm just saying, stuff's always gonna come up. And I guess it had me thinking about, can you detail an interior without a vacuum? And I think the answer is yes. And what I'm trying to go into with this conversation is like, listen, I can tell you exactly how I did it. My vacuum was not working that day. The cord was broken. And so what did I do? I used a brush and a leaf blower and my air compressor and in combination with all of them I was able to scoop and blow a lot of the dirt out of the vehicle. It wasn't a full a full detail, but I could have done that with an extractor, you know, which has a, a vacuum type effect. But what I'm trying to say isn't that, you know, uh, that was some technical prowess. What I'm trying to say is in life and in detailing things always go wrong something gets in your way is it making you late to work is it making your job more difficult is it making your relationship more difficult is it making your health worse is it making your mental health worse i don't know there's a decent chance it is and i've been listening to like gary v you know gary vaynerchuk talking about how lucky we are to like be alive like you know, you could be the best elephant, he said, and humans are still better than you as far as just, we won the genetic lottery as far as being born in America. And as far as like the whole arc of human history, the, the lottery as far as time goes, I mean, with the advancements and how long people are living now and the opportunities you have with the internet to grow a business. That's what Gary Vaynerchuk would say, and I, I think it's spot on. I think it's crazy how wise that guy is. So I'm just trying to see the positive in everything. I'm trying to enjoy winter. I'm trying to think outside the box. Remember, everybody, there's going to come a time when you are so busy, you can't think about social media, you can't think about marketing in your head. You're telling yourself you can't think about this stuff. You don't even have time to see your family. And maybe you should see your family more, but you tell them the story and you tell the story in your head of, I have to make my money in the warm weather months because the winter is slow. Well, then don't worry so much about working all winter. I know you're probably needing the money, we all do, but maybe you don't. But anyway, just try to like take this winter as an opportunity to think outside the box, think creatively about your future, about your brand, about your marketing. What can you do on social media? It's all free, you know? Obviously, I've been doing a lot of YouTube, you guys. I just want to see where this can go. And look, Gary Vaynerchuk, he just talks about it. He's like, the thing that makes you special is that you're a unique human being. Not that you're a special whatever, like you're better, but like, you're, you're unique. So just be you, that's the only thing that'll sell. He was just talking about how he didn't want to do a wine review on his wine channel, which was wildly successful. Uh, saying one thing and then being seen at a wine party uh, saying something different. He didn't want to be caught as a charlatan or a fraud. So he just said, screw it. I'm just going to be me. I am just going to do and say the things that are true to my personality. 
and that's kind of inspiring, you know? So the world's a big place, and YouTube, maybe we're forming tribes, or we're like, you know, meeting around common interests, and so, meet more people in the industry online. I, I'd like to go to some of the trade shows, like SEMA and Mobile Tech, but um, there's just some really good dudes out there who've been awesome mentors to me, and I don't want to let any of that good advice go to waste. So here I am, going to share some stuff along the journey, and you know, maybe it helps, maybe it inspires, maybe it it uh, it gives you a chance to help me, because a lot of people pronounce themselves as gurus, and I'm so far away from that, and yet I'm still trying to do videos, right? I wasn't even putting myself in that category. Hell's no. Nah. But those are the people that make videos. So, oh, do you have the audacity to make YouTube videos? I think the how-to videos do pretty well on YouTube, so I'm doing them uh, because I want to obviously do well. I'm not, uh, you know, like living in some alien, you know, universe where like certain things don't matter. Like the numbers are vanity things, but yeah, they matter. I'm looking at it all the time. I'm wanting to grow because that says to me like this content is resonating. Content sounds like such a lame marketing word, but it is what it is, you guys. So maybe I sound like an evil corporate robot. I don't know. I'm just really trying to grow my craft. And uh, as I've announced on this channel before, detailing is a side hustle for me, you know? And I think there's a part of me that says, well, like, what would it look like if, you know, this was the only way to feed my family? Could I do it? Could I physically, could my shoulder and back handle it? just to break even with how I'm doing now. I don't know, when the ceramic coatings and the paint corrections are flowing like a waterfall after a giant storm, uh, you know, that's one thing, but this winter has been humbling. So, hope you guys are having a great night, a great day, and uh, uh, let's just keep the conversation going. I have a lot of admiration for anybody out there detailing because this ish is hard. Peace.